Well, it's my back time. Let's see what I've got this time. Things you can buy, maybe, but then these are mostly from RS, so maybe not. Alright, let's see if we can get into this thing. Yeah, I'll look. Now, invoice, go on. You want to see that? Oh, look, there's some capacitors. What do we get? These are 330 microfarad 100 volt and 330 microfarad 35 volt. I might have bought those for a particular project or maybe I was restocking. Yeah, probably restocking, I'm not sure. I might have needed it for the HP, I can't remember. Hmm. So this one's got re relays in it. It's single pole double throw relays. And I purchased two different versions of the same relay. I think one's got internal shield, one doesn't, or something like that. Now these are for a repair I'm doing, and also for stock. I actually I'm going to have to revisit this and figure out exactly which parts I need to use because I've got so many parts. So there's those. Um, and that's a bit of stain footprint on these ones as well. Same thing. I actually thought I had the right ones already, but I didn't. I ones I had were the same footprint and the same package style, but the actual functionality of the pinout was different. So many different versions, it's incredible. I bought a selection of different ones and I'll just have to re revisit this and figure out which one I need to use for the HP 8165A which I'm currently repairing. It's got at least one bad re relay in it and that needs replacing. I just don't know which one it was. I'll have to relook at the specs and figure out which one it was I needed. It has to be a shielded version. There's a shielded and unshielded version and the one that's in there now is a shielded version so I need to make sure I use the same one. Another thing from RS. Imagine that. Look, it's right through that one. Hmm. So there's actually something in it. I was a bit worried there for a second. <laughs> that fell out. So these are some little bulbs. I think these were six volt bulbs or five five or six volt bulbs. I can't remember which ones they were. Five volt sixty milliamp bulbs. So these are for the HP as well. So that's for the HP because that's got at least two blown bulbs that I know of on that front panel. Could be more. But uh, definitely two which are gone, so I need the bulbs for that, so it's good. And it's another RS bag. There's a bit more stuff in this one. So we've got some more reed relays. Oh, okay. Just some more reed relays. This has got different ones. It's got a single pole double throw, which is equivalent to the ones we've got, one of the ones I've got over here. And also a different one, which I think is a double pole. So the same form factor as well. Get one out so you can actually see it. That's upside down, of course. See the writing on there? I'm trying to read it myself. HE721CO500. So the 500 part donates 5 volts, but the 00, zero part, or the, in this case the 530 part on these ones, denotes options. So options could be the pinout function or like the actual shielding inside or not. And here's some more, which are individually packed. Really, they could have fit them all in one. Anyway, these are different ones. These are V23100-4005-A011. So I don't actually remember what the functionality of these ones were. So I bought different ones thinking that I needed to potentially change other ones. Well, I forgot one bad read relay in the HP 8165A. There might be other ones. And so I looked at what other relays are in that unit and purchased ones which are also in it. So just in case, those are also bad. Because I haven't got far enough really to be sure that everything's definitely okay apart from just that one relay. And at the very least, I'll have a stock of these ones in future. So if I get something else which uses these, then, or at least an equivalent of these, I can swap it out and not worry about it too much. So having a, a an assortment of these things is handy to have. Look, a lot of the gear I work on does have relays in. So having a stock of them is probably quite a good idea. I do have some, as I say, but they're not the right ones in this case. So I've got the round knife here, but i not used it yet. Look at this. It's more read relays. Acticon ones as well. I think they're the same or very similar to one I just showed you actually. There you go. That's what's in there. A10. I think these were A11, were they? Yes, AO11. This is AO10, so it's very slightly different. Again, keeping options open. Here's something which isn't from RS. Yay! All right. Let's find out what this is. This is interesting packaging. What on earth is it? Oh, my knife's not cutting it. 
just going to see where the joint is in this thing. Oh, now I know where it is. Well. Pidgeot sure didn't go hacking into it. Like this. Oh, you buggers. Look at that. That's great. Now I've cut down the side of the book. Because I thought it was a box. It's one of these sample books. The question is, what is it? I don't remember. Resistors. What size are they? I don't bloody know. Are they out of fives, are they? Let's have a look. Pretty sure it's out of five. Resistors or something. I think I didn't have one of these. Is that right? Yeah, I, was, I, was, I think I was making something. I didn't have the right resistors. I only had a very small quantity. I thought, oh, I'd better get a stack of those. So I've got a stack of them. You don't know how good the parts really are. They're probably the cheapest parts they can get their hands on. But doesn't usually matter that much, to be honest. Not in the stuff I do. Not like I'm using high precision. If I'm using high precision, I'd buy it from a known supplier. And the last thing for today, there'll be links down below for some of these things. Maybe not the RS items though. Oh, I feel cheated. I barely got to use a RAM stick. And when I did get to use it, it broke it. What's in here? Ooh, slightly different. I do like the going away from some of the plastic packaging. It used to have a lot of plastic. And uh, they started using paper more, which is good. I quite like that. I did give them feedback about that when I did the survey and maybe they actually listened. This is a LTC 1052CN8, which is an eight pin op amp. Of those. Now I actually wanted to find the 14 pin versions of these as well. I'm not sure these are the right part for what I actually need. Now the Solotron 7061 multimeter which I picked up recently which is supposed to be calibrated um, is not accurate. <laughs> so, um, so I'm not too worried about playing with it a little bit. It's still sealed, I only looked inside it. Still got the original seals on it from the place I bought it from who supposedly calibrated it and yes. Anyway so one of the things we can do on it is to try and improve the noise by replacing an op amp on there. I'm not sure if it's an 8 pin footprint or a 14 pin footprint. Now the 8 pin is the one I could get. The 14 pin has got some extra functions on it because it's like a chopper op amp. I'm hoping these are the right ones but they might not be. The 14 pin one seems to be obsolete. I can't seem to source it. I haven't looked that hard yet. But I look at changing the op amp in that Solotron multimeter in order to try and improve the noise because these are proven to give slightly better noise or I don't know if it's an 8 pin or 14 pin version I don't know but it's, it's on the EV book for them anyway it's mentioned on there specifically for this multimeter saying they, they did this and actually they showed some graphing proving the noise got better that's a win as it's not calibrated anyway sorry as it's calibrated but not calibrated then I'm not too worried about making it change its actual readings a little bit because I don't think it's right anyway I'm hoping I can just pop on these ones in but these might not be the right footprint so if it's not the right one then I'll have to try and source the falling pins. Now what I did notice though is that these op amps are actually inside the Datron calibrator I just fixed that 4700. It's got a mixture, it's got some of the 14 pin ones and it's also got some 8 pin ones in there as well. So at the very least I've got some spare parts for the Datron in case they ever fail. That's nice. What's going on here? You've got an individually boxed capacitor. What's this one? 20,000 microfarad 50 volt. I I think I needed this for something. I think there was a... What did I need that value for? I think it was for the Recold Dana frequency counter. The 2101. I think that was one of the paint power supply caps I needed to replace. I'm fairly sure is that. It could have been the HP8165. And another cap here is... Another 20,000, but this time it's a 25 volt instead. So I've got two, same value, but different voltage ratings. And this is also a through hole pin, and that's a snap in version. Options, I suppose, is always good. Right, that's that stuff. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, all your stuff, and I'll catch you next one. Bye.